First ingredient, ground yellow corn, chicken byproduct meal, corn gluten meal. Although this food really looks to be beautiful and something you'd be interested in nourishing your pet with, my recommendation is to avoid it. The pet food industry is telling us what to feed our pets, really more based on what they want to sell us than what's necessarily good for the pet. So no corn, no wheat, no soy. After many years of R&D, we have found that corn is still the best available source of carbohydrate. Those are the things that cause overweight, diabetes, arthritis, chronic skin infections, allergies. Corn and wheat have become so subsidized and so cheap. It's a super cheap way to make a food for somebody who can't say no. More than 60 million packages were taken off store shelves last month because they apparently contained wheat gluten that was tainted with the chemical melamine. They thought they were purchasing a certain protein product called wheat gluten, when in fact they were buying wheat flour that had been laced with cyanuric acid and melamine in order to pass it off as wheat gluten. That was a betrayal of trust. They don't care about me. They care about my money. You have well-meaning, lovely veterinarians recommending foods not because they have sound nutritional background, but because that's all that they know. And in a hundred years' time, we have successfully convinced an entire generation of pet lovers that why would you feed anything but dog food or cat food?